Welcome back to Joy Trading. It's your boy Jupy here. In this video, I'm going to talk about some updates on the uh, or binary broker, and I will show you a pattern that's right now happening on Crash 1000 and Boom 1000. We will also talk about a uh, bump and run pattern as you can see here. But before we dive right into the video, I'm going to uh, I want to apologize for you guys because it's been a while since I uploaded a video last time. I guess about eight months but I guess I'm back right now uh, I'll try my best to post videos every day I'll, I'll keep in touch with you guys so uh, as you can see here we have a daily website if you go to the website daily.com you will see there is a new update they have integrated a web terminal where you can trade uh, booming crash, volatility, jump indices, and all other uh, assets that are available in there. If you can trade them online on your uh, browser, no need to download MT5 or uh, any other trading platform. So, I will show you the update. It looks cool. I like the terminal. Uh, uh, most of you, I think, you know, tradingview.com. That's the most famous web terminal where you can trade assets. So this terminal that's integrated by Terry right now, uh, it looks cool. I like it. Everything's smooth. Uh, uh, I think there are some bugs still. They need to be fixed, but it's the first time. So they're trying their best. We have watch list here. We have a chart, which looks cool here. We have tools and uh, uh, account details here. So as you can see, I have uh, put about 5K here. I will try to flip this one to 10k. I will update you guys in the Telegram channel if you are the member. If you're not a member, the link will be in description. So join the Telegram. So this is the, the new web terminal which is integrated by Deriv. Uh, if you don't know how to open this one, I will show you in the next video. So right now let's dive right into the uh, today's content. Let's go to uh, chart in binary for today i'm going to use this tradingview.com chart because i'm not familiar with the new integrated web terminal of there so let's see what is happening in boom 1000 right now if you go to 1000 on daily time frame the chart looks like this there uh, was a terrible run here if you see all these candles are daily candlesticks uh, i guess it was going up for like months for a while it was going up and the market reversed its direction right now it looks like uh market is consolidating or uh, it's it's in a consolidation phase so if you want to uh, if you want to predict the, the direction of the market uh, either upside or downside we have something right now here let me show you if you see this picture here, uh, actually this one was for Bitcoin. It was posted on April 20, 2022. Uh, I got it from Twitter. So this is a book. It shows us about bump and run reversal bottoms. So if you see the, the chart here, we have a lead phase here, leading phase. The market tries to uh, break this trend line. Then suddenly there will be a big drop and that drop is called bump phase so after bump phase the market tries to recover back to that trend line and when it gets momentum of force to break that trend line the market breaks the trend and comes back to the trend line it tastes that trend line and starts run phase that's called uphill run or it's called run phase so we have bump here then the reversal which is called run phase so let's see let's integrate this one with boom 1000 chart this is a daily chart if you see here let me remove this one if you see closely we have a lead phase here you see the chart we try to test this area and we have another test also so we can draw a trend line like this connecting all these areas so this area is called a lead in phase we have lead in phase here 
then the market suddenly started to drop below this level this level was holding the market many times it tried to break but came back up at this point it tasted the line here again it tasted but finally the market dropped that means this is called a dump phase or bump phase the market suddenly dumps on us so after this the market consolidates for for a little bit for a while then comes back to the, the previous trend line as you can see so we have the trend line from the previous two points which connected this area and this area so this trend line is acting as a resistance right so if you see closely here we have a market which reverses back from the trend line that phase is called run phase where the market is trying to break this trend line and create another uphill or run phase so uh, if you wait for a couple of days if 1000 breaks this trend line and comes back to test this area uh, if you are familiar with my channel you know uh, what confluence zone means confluence zone means area where market reacted many times so we draw this box we draw this box right here because we have uh, market testing this box here 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 and for the last time here. that means uh, there is a lot of momentum there is a lot of things happening in this box area traders are buying and selling consistently that means next time when the market comes back to this area there will be a reaction either downward or upward if it goes upward that means there is a momentum to reverse the direction if you see here the macro trend here is bearish market is going downward that's a bearish trend but right now the market is trying to reverse that and become bullish so if you want to buy in for long term or swing trading boom 1000 wait for like a couple of days when the market comes back up breaks this box and tastes this area you can buy at this level so that means if it reverses back it goes up like this either way uh, we will see what happens uh, okay, so the next chart is put crash 1000. Let's go to crash 1000 and I will uh, show you what's happening there. If you see crash 1000 uh, on a daily time frame, it's going downward. The macro trend here is downward. It's a bearish market. You can draw a trend line connecting all these reversal points. Uh, let's pick a brush here. We have a market testing the trend line again here. It tested. Uh, at this level also it is there. So right now it's breaking like this. If you see this area, market is breaking out of the trend line. That means a good sign. That's a good sign for us to, to take opportunity to buy. So if you want to buy, you have to wait for the market to break the trend line, right? That, that's what we have been talking about last year. So if you see here, it has broken already the trend line, but what is the other confirmation that you need to, to wait for buying in? Because this is higher time frame. Now let's go to lower time frame, like maybe four hours. If you go to four hour chart, let's zoom in like this. We have a macro trend, it's already broken. And in the micro, micro perspective, we have a trend line which connects all these points up. That means, look, you see this? At the macro perspective, the market is going down. But in the micro perspective, the market is going up in this way see this is bullish sign it has already broken the trend line and it's trending in the lower time frame like four hours so what is going on at the at the end point here you see this i see a triangle here let me draw it for you like this this is called the symmetric triangle right now the market is in a, a either break up or break down point if the market is going to break this uh, uh symmetrical triangle in the above like in upper way you wait for the market to come back or taste this area you buy in if it breaks down if it breaks this ascending triangle or symmetric triangle wait for the market to break this other trend line here then you wait for the market to come back or taste then it goes down uh, i think i think the market will go up because as we have seen in the higher time frame uh, market has already broken this trend line you see this trend line it's already broken in a daily time frame that the, the bearish trend line is broken market is trying to go up and right now it's forming a symmetry triangle that means if it breaks up or upward that's a bullish sign the market starts to trade upward and we can also I guess 
draw a confluence zone here if you want to trade swing trade you see especially like if the market breaks up to this area that's bullish sign because this area is a confluence zone market has been reacting many times here market has reacted here reacted here again this area acted as a resistance it was a support here but flipped into resistance we have talked about this many times last year i guess so right now this confluence zone is important for us so keep your eyes open on clash 1000 and boom 1000 tomorrow i guess i will i will upload an update on this i will trade that 5k i will try to flip it to 10k i hope so so i'll, I'll update you guys on telegram channel if you're not a member please the link will be in the description see you guys